Hi, hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Well, hey, y'all. I'm glad you showed up because I think it's probably the worst day in history. Right after the day I found out where uh, eggs come from. This is my last day on the farm. You heard me right. I've been running this farm for the past month, but my cousin Clay just called me and he said he's on his way home. So that means I gotta leave today, and if I'm being honest, I'm not taking a suit for I mean, I spent 30 days in this beautiful place. It's like a home. I made friends with all the animals. I know all their names and their sleep schedules. I even made up a couple secret handshakes with the ducks on the pond. But now it's all useless. I mean, what am I supposed to do with all this love in my heart? All this pent up joy that I have in my body. I've taken it and I've given it to this farm for the past month. Now what? Huh? Carl. Not a good time, Grace. Oh no, wait. Is today the day? Your last day on the farm? Sure is, and I'm an emotional wreck. Oh, Carl, I'm so sorry. That's terrible. Oh, it's fine. I'll just probably go home, shut the door, and eat chicken nuggets for the rest of my life. Oh, don't do that. You know you can still take the love you have and share it with others. <laughs> you really think so? I know it. I mean, that's what Peter did. Peter the disciple? Didn't he like deny Jesus three times and act like he didn't know who he was? I don't think that's the best example, Grace. Yes, Peter made some mistakes, but we all have. It's what Peter did after those bad decisions that really show you how great God is. Well, what happened? Well, Peter decided to go fishing and a couple of other disciples went with him, but they had no luck. They didn't catch anything. Oh, well that's a bummer. But then, a man stood on the shore, looking at the boat, and told Peter and the disciples to cast their nets onto the other side of the boat. And when they did, they had caught so much fish, he couldn't even pull it up. Oh, good thing that stranger helped him out with that tip. Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. That's the thing. It wasn't a stranger. That man on the shore was Jesus. No way. Do the disciples know that? Not at first. But after they caught the fish, John looked at Peter and told him that it was Jesus. Peter couldn't believe it. He grabbed his robe and dove into the water, even though he didn't have a swimsuit and he was a hundred yards from shore. Peter didn't care. He wanted to be with Jesus so bad, it didn't matter what was between them. <laughs> That is so cool. I can imagine Peter felt pretty bad after what he had done, but really happy that Jesus was back. Big time. So he began to eat food, and then Jesus asked Peter an important question. Do you love me? Well, that is a fair question. Peter did abandon Jesus during uh, the most difficult time in Jesus' life. Well, Jesus wasn't questioning Peter's love for him, and he wasn't holding a grudge or anything like that. He knows how much Peter loves him. So Jesus was actually setting Peter up for a very important job. So when Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you, Jesus then told him, feed my sheep. Whoa, Jesus has sheep. He's like a farmer just like me. Not exactly. You see, Jesus was talking about his children, us, the people on earth that he has created. He wanted Peter to share the love of God with the people in this world. So, not really feed sheep, but more of feeding the people to know the Word of God. Oh, that makes sense. So is that what we're supposed to do? You're getting it. Jesus is also telling us to feed His sheep as followers of God. We can't forget that this life isn't just for us. It's for God and for God's purpose. We were designed to worship and share God's love to all those who need it. For all who needs God's love. Isn't that everyone? It sure is. There is not one person on this planet that doesn't need God's love. 
So it's our job to share it with them and live lives like Jesus did. You are totally right. I think knowing that God has a plan and a purpose for me is going to make leaving this farm a lot easier. I think it will too. And for what it's worth, Carl, I'm really proud of you. And I know you'll do even greater things once you leave the farm. Oh, you really mean that? Of course. When we choose to share God's love today and every day after, there is no telling the things God will do through us. That's awesome. Look out, world. Here comes Carl. Hey, actually, I can't leave yet. My cousin Cleese doesn't get here for like another hour. Wow. How exciting is it that Carl is going to go share God's love even after he leaves the farm? It may not be easy to leave or do things we may not want to do, but God's love makes everything easier. Our big idea today is I can share God's love every day. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. I can share God's love every day. Perfect. <laughs> Great job, kids. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Carl on the farm this week. We hope to see you next week on the next episode of Grow TV. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV.